Hi guys, I'm Grace, your host from New York Cooking. Hi everyone, it's Helen here from Helen's Recipes YouTube channel. Do you guys know that Vietnamese New Year and Chinese New Year falls on the same date because we both choose to celebrate our traditional New Year based on lunar calendar? That's very true. Chinese New Year is celebrated for 15 days and during this time we have the concept of open house. Open house is the time where we will visit family and friends just to enjoy delicious food and assorted cookies. It is also the time to catch up with one another. What about in Vietnam? Mm. That's quite similar to what happens in Vietnam during Vietnamese New Year. We call it Tết. Every household prepare lots of good food and candies to offer to the visiting guests. So today we would like to invite you to our open house to enjoy some very special New Year recipes from Vietnam and Malaysia. Helen and I have each prepared a recipe that is significant to the new year. So do not miss that because we will link all the recipes at the end of this video. So stay tuned. I will be preparing Zai, a vegetarian meal that is cooked by my grandma every single year during Chinese New Year. So do not miss that because it's delicious and it's healthy. What about you, Helen? I will be showing you how a traditional Vietnamese New Year cake called Ban Tết is made and if you like the videos don't forget to click like and subscribe to my channel Helen recipes and Nyonya cooking to prepare the fillings soak mung beans in water for at least four hours and cook in a pot filled with just enough water to cover then mash into a paste with a spoon and season with salt pepper fried shallots and vegetable oil Cut the pork into cubes and season with fish sauce, shallots and salt and pepper. Take a cup of the mashed mung beans, spread out on a saran wrap, add a few pieces of pork in the center and shape it into a lot about 20 cm long. Ban tech is wrapped in a log like cylindrical shape, so it really needs a lot of banana leaves to wrap. The wrapping technique is also more difficult to master than ban chung. Tear banana leaves in large pieces. Lay out about 5 to 6 pieces of partially overlapping banana leaves, like demonstrated. Spread a cup of rice on top of the banana leaves to the length of about 50 cm. Then place two logs of fillings on top. Layer about a cup and a half of rice over the fillings. Let the bowl ends meet and roll it up into the shape of a cylinder. Remember to give it a few taps to compact the rice. Then tie it up right in the center using plastic twine. Roughly fold one end and stand the cylinder up. Add in some more rice and fold the ends nicely. To make sure the boiling water will not go into the cake, cover the ends with more banana leaves and tie it up securely. Similar to bánh chưng, bánh tét is also a must-have traditional food in Vietnamese Lunar New Year, especially in southern Vietnam. It demonstrates the importance of rice in Vietnamese culture. The process of making bánh tét is quite time-consuming, but it provides an opportunity for family members to bond and come together to celebrate the holiday spirit. In modern society, bánh chưng and bánh tét are sold at almost every Vietnamese store, but it's still nice to see some families to maintain the tradition and spend time with their family to make the cake. To prevent the banana leaves from falling apart during the cooking, it is then tied a few more times um, along the cylinder before boiling in a large pot of water. For a 40 cm or 15 inch lock, you need to tie about 7 rounds to make sure that it is securely wrapped. Mm -hmm. 
depending on the size and the method of cooking either with wood or electricity it takes about 6 to 10 hours to cook stand them up and arrange in a large pot filled with enough water to cover add water occasionally to make sure that the cakes are submerged in the water when finished the cakes are hung up to air dry for commercial use nowadays the cakes are packed in vacuum bags to store longer together with ban chung a similar sticky rice cake wrapped in square package ban teh is also sold at markets for daily consumption there are also sweet version of ban teh which has banana as filling instead of pork in vietnamese teh actually means slice so you have to serve bánh tét in slices Because it's quite sticky, it's rather difficult to slice with knife So we have to use thread or our dental floss to slide the cake into wheel-shaped servings Like this You can serve it just like that with some pickled vegetables yu han or pickled vegetables in fish sauce yu mong but the best way to serve ban te is actually to fry them if you're someone like me who used to live by the beach nothing can beat a slice of fried ban te after a swim in the sea how i miss those days food cart selling deep fried ban te like this can be easily found on the streets of Vietnam, especially during cold rainy months. It's crispy on the outside and glutinous from the inside. It goes perfect with some sweet and spicy chili fish sauce. So I hope you like this recipe and don't forget to check out other recipes for Lunar New Year from Vietnam and Malaysia. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.